the next flight we are taking business class my god that is in heaven is going to allow it hello my beauts welcome and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be sharing eric and i's experience as we traveled back to london in ba's business class seats now you saw earlier i was talking about we're going to experience business class i never knew it was going to be so soon i did mention in my vlog that i saw an offer when i was checking us in and i decided to upgrade eric and i as a gift for valentine's day slash our wedding anniversary take me out I was in seat 12E and what I love about it is that the overhead compartment is only for me. I only had one piece of luggage to put inside but I just like the fact that I didn't have to scramble to find space to put my stuff. To ensure a comfortable sleep in the sky, bedding is provided by the White Company. Each customer gets a pillow, a duvet and a padded mattress. Now I won't lie, the AC was on full blast from our flight so I was cold. But these products will keep you warm in less chilly climates or if you don't mind the cold. The seats are compartmentalised, each with their own sliding door which you can keep open or close for that extra privacy. I kept mine open for majority of the flight just so that the flight attendant had easy access to me but I shut it when I was going to sleep. There's plenty of storage space. This first one I'm opening, you will see that it has headphones inside. It also has the remote for the TV. There's a socket and USB ports, so I charged my phone. This next compartment has a mirror, perfect for when you're flying and need to check yourself real quick. There's also a bottle of water and a toiletry bag, or as they call it, amenity kit, provided by the White Company. Inside there's an eye mask, socks, lip balm, pulse oil. This smells so good, it smells like you're in the spa. Moisturizer, earbuds, pen, and toothbrush and toothpaste. There's a light here, a little torch light, so when the plane goes dark, if you want to read, you can put that light on. We don't want to see <laughs> Again, something that I love to ensure privacy is this little window that you can close off. As you can see, Eric was not pleased about me doing that. Now we have the table, which folds out a lot wider than the tables you'll find in economy and premium economy. Let's move on to the different options of seat reclining. So the seat in business class can be upright. You can have it halfway up with your legs slightly angled. I think they call it the Z bed or Z bed, but I don't see how it looks like a Z. Z however you say it. If you know what the actual term is, leave it in the comments below. And of course you can have it all the way flat, which mimics a bed. It's still not as comfortable as a bed, but it's 1000% more comfortable than economy and premium economy. So I'll say about 20 minutes after we had been seated, once everyone was seated in their respective seats, this included people in economy and premium economy, the flight attendant brought us a drink and a snack. Our snack was a packet of mixed nuts and they were so good we also received a hot towel at this point i'm just living that luxury life okay i'm feeling pampered i used a hot towel on my hands because you lot know i'm a bit of a germaphobe and i just wanted to feel clean clean extra clean this is another advantage of business class that i mean obviously you can go to the toilet and wash your hands but this is just another experience of it that differentiates it from economy and premium economy. She also came back around with a tray and took the towels off us. She then came back and asked what I would like to eat for dinner. I believe she had given me this menu immediately I got on the flight, but I can't remember so don't quote me on that. For some reason I didn't get the dinner side, I'm trying to eat breakfast. And she also asked which drink I would like to drink with my meal and I asked for a coke 
She brought around our tableware and in business class, the cutlery is wrapped in a serviette and that is also sealed. Yes, that is me checking they are clean and giving them a bit more of a polish. It's the germaphobe thing, guys. It's the germaphobe thing. There was also a sachet of salt and pepper. Not mixed together. They came separately, but inside that packet. This is a little bottle of dressing for my salad. And I also have a tub of butter for my bread. This is a quinoa salad, which we all received. Unless, of course, you declined. And I decided to drizzle that dressing on top. It was good. Along came my starter, which were some ginger jumbo prawns on a bed of butternut squash. I appreciate I'm not having to fight to make space on my table. There's enough room for me to clear up my plates without worrying about anything dropping. I remember when we were flying to Nigeria, I happened to spill my orange juice on my very white tracksuit <laughs> all over my trousers at that. So it kind of looked like pee. And I guess it's for what my main was. That's right, if you guessed jollof rice, 10 points for you because that is what I was given. Actually, that's what I chose. Jollof rice, chicken, plantain, and green beans. Baby, you know I was about to try that, okay? At first, I wasn't quite sure, but I did like it. I won't say I loved it. It's the chicken that I didn't really fancy that much. The rice was all right, yeah, the rice was nice. This is one hell of a bumpy ride, boy. Turbulence is crazy. The turbulence is crazy. Then for dessert, I had a chocolate crusted cherry cheesecake with vanilla sauce. And this was busting. Give me that any day of the week. I will be eating it, okay? So I was pleasantly pleased with my meal. I was full. I didn't need anything else. They asked if I wanted drinks. I said, no, thank you. <laughs> Now me and this seat belt, this seat belt and I, we were tussling. I don't know why I found it so hard. First of all, to pull it. Secondly, to actually put it on. Like, I was fighting with this thing. The seat belts in business class are two layered so you have the strap that goes across your body but you also have a strap that goes across your waist now in order for you to be comfortable whilst you're sleeping it's suggested that you just use the strap that goes around your waist and you keep that on top of your blanket this also ensures that if the seat belt sign goes on whilst you're asleep they can see that you're fastened in safely and they will not wake you up to tell you to wear your seat belt In fact, they won't wake you up at all. I missed breakfast. <laughs> I missed breakfast. But luckily, they offered me some hot chocolate and shortbread. So I guzzled that down. The hot chocolate was bomb. I'm the queen of hot chocolate. And I can say that this was one of the best ones I've had. And the shortbread, shortbread's always nice. Give me a reason. Show me the way. As you just heard, we are coming to the end of the journey and I'm preparing myself for landing. We were told we had to have our seats upright, the doors had to be open, all of our belongings had to be stowed away. I didn't even show you the amount of room that I had underneath my feet there's a lot of room there there's also an armrest to keep you comfortable 
and making sure my seatbelt is buckled properly. Overall, I will say that I enjoyed my business class experience. I know Eric did too because I asked him. I will say that when it comes to business class, this is not a lifestyle for me. I was just opportuned to be able to do this and I'm so glad that I did. Thank God. I will say that I have seen some business class experiences that are even better than the one British Airways offer. If I ever get the opportunity to try those airlines, I will definitely bring you along. But for now, thank you so much for watching. As always, please like, comment, share and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. I love you guys.